get Monday drunk. Oh, this is this is dope, dude. Well, God, tell them what we got. Did you just call me God? God, thank you. Tell them what we have. <laughs> oh, today we've got Scorched Earth Brewing's German style Hells. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. It's called Hey Chicago, what do you say? Cubs are gonna win today. We're not Cubs fans, but we like beer. I like songs with choruses. Oh, so every song. <laughs> Whoa, I'm shaking. I'm hungry. Yeah, I don't know if it's Hell's or Hellas Lager, but this is uh, this is pretty damn good. Yeah, I actually don't uh, mind this, probably because it's not an IPA. Yeah, there's very little hops. It's tasty though. Oh, man. this is an Illinois uh, brewery too. Yeah, cool. dude, scorched earth, man, keeping it local. I like that like a local brewery did the Chicago thing. It wasn't just like a Vermont company. It was like, we're yeah. big Cubs fans. I probably should have known it was an <laughs> Illinois brewery. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be really nice to have with these wings here. Yeah, hoping so. You want me to get into the uh, first one? Yeah, today three sauces. Uh, on these Monday videos, a lot of times we'll do a trio of sauces. We've done I mean, damn near probably a thousand hot sauces now on this channel. What's our first one? First up, we've got Lucky Dog Hot Sauces El Perro Afortunado. Okay. Fire roasted tomato, five pepper, salsa picante. They're putting it at the uh, medium level heat on their little temperature gauge that they have here. Mm -hmm. We love Lucky Dog. Yeah, I love it. Scott. Their branding. Their Scott clothes, is the man. Their hot sauce. And we'll see if this can be added to our list of deliciousness. He's one of those dudes out in California grinding. Like he goes to farmers markets all the time, talks to folks, sells it. He's very in the culture of it. I mm. like a hard worker. Yeah, I like hard workers. Mm -hmm, me too. I was gonna try to take a stance against that, but I can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Blue collar as it comes. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's very tasty. Instantly. Oh, oh my god. Super tom tomatoey. Tomatoey, but like with some heat. It really is. It's like a salsa flavoring. I like the thickness of that. Like that's kind of how thick I want salsas. Mm hmm. That's a lot of the times the reason I don't like salsa. It's too like watery. I like a thicker salsa. So why not just give me a big a salsa hot sauce? I would never have guessed that that's got that much heat. It's decent. And it's very decent. That's so good. I put that on a spaghetti. Yeah. Spaghetti. Unfortunately, you can't be canceled from Spaghetti! of Italians. <laughs> wow, that's a nice little pairing right there for a Monday. That's delicious. Got my uh, my heart reverberating early. Mm -hmm. All right, what's number two? Next up, this is another one we've had some other hot sauces before. Hank sauce. Hank. Which sounds like a guy in a wife beater who just blows a load on a lady and is like, all right, gave you my Hank sauce. I'll take Hank 20 off. bucks off the dresser and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Oh, it was Hank a transaction. But it was a transaction. It was transactional. Okay. Hank's just seemed like it's a name of a kind of a schemey guy to me. Yeah, Hank has to spend money on prostitution to get laid. A prostitute? No. And this is their Witch's Brew hot sauce by Hank Sauce. Uh, Witch's Brew. What kind of jokes you got about that? About Witch's Brew? Yeah. How many jokes do I have about that? Yeah. All right. Uh, it's like a concoction that like a witch would make and, and, and make <laughs> people drink it and. Rape him? I bet, I bet <laughs> Hank sticks stirs a cauldron with his boner. Okay. Yeah, I just ran in there, a little three-incher. <laughs> um, one of my favorite Hanks, though, is Hank from King of the Hill. Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt. Oh, it's the best Hank, arguably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Hank sauce. Hank sauce. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Garlicky? Buttery, may I say? Kind of buttery. A little too vinegary for me, but not bad. I appreciate the bottle. Yeah, I was like an old apothecary bottle. Like the size of it more yeah, now? the size and the mm -hmm. shape. I like the fact that you could probably bludgeon a, a criminal with this if they tried to rob you. Yeah. If somebody came in here and you had to protect your wife and dog, what's the first thing you grab to hit somebody with in your apartment? Uh, my PlayStation Five, and I'd go out the window. <laughs> Oh, God, yeah, I don't have a PlayStation 5, I only have a PlayStation 4. <laughs> yeah, I still, I like, that's still I what like I grab on the window. Yeah, not bad for a vinegar base. No, not at all. That is just so much more my style. Wait, but this is down. good for if you're into that kind of like vinegary, garlicky butter. If you're into that thing. Dude, cruising right along here. I feel like I need to drink a little bit more beer. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. You try to wash out the flavor from the previous two hot sauces? No. <laughs> I'm just trying to get unsober, disobered. I respect that, I respect that. Okay, here we go, I'm ready now. All right, what do we got? I just shot everybody, um, I don't know why. Humble hot sauce, emerald sauce. Cilantro, lime, ginger, habanero. This, not to be confused with Humble Park, Chicago, 
This is Arcata, California. Roasted bell peppers and, Car and Corey's favorite apple cider vinegar. Oh boy, this is good for you. I wonder if this has the mother in it. What's that? That's like the culture inside apple cider vinegar that keeps it like really health property. Culture? For it. It's got like a the you know like yeast or like they'll use. Um, is this getting into science? Remember like a starter? Like come on, you no. Know? The other uh, in apple cider vinegar they got the mother. Why are you making me learn about stuff, bro? The mother. Don't make Cheers. me learn about stuff. Put that in your mouth hole. Mmm, okay. Getting a lot of that flour through. Does that some sweetness maybe? I don't know. Salty? I'm just gonna keep naming all the flavors that were ever invented until you tell me <laughs> which ones I get. Mmm, that's good. That's like a really good balance. I kept waiting for one of the things that I read to be the thing that I tasted. You can actually taste the habanero in that. I feel like a lot of habanero sauces, like you don't taste the pepper. I really like that. Uh, bell pepper for sure comes through. Oh wow, they do have cilantro. They do have garlic. Yeah, sea salt. Sea salt, baby. Comes from the sea. Yeah, this isn't bad. Did you I know? I mean, I don't salt? like gingers, but I do like ginger in a hot sauce. Did you know sea salt is just the ejaculate of certain fish? Which ones? Oh, there's like a whole list. I can't think of like them off the top of my head. But I some do. fish, they sea salt. It's the dandruff of the hairier animals that mm. reside in the sea. Yeah, like a what would be like, like a sea a lion. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's okay. Whisker dandruff. Or like an otter. Like an otter. Otters have a lot of like fur. I feel like. Mm -hmm. Whatever. This is a history lesson again. History lesson. It's a, this is uh, the Discovery Channel science. <laughs> All right, well, three uh, sauces up, three sauces down. God, I mean, these are like pretty damn good. I was that that is fantastic. I'll say what my favorite is in a little bit, but I I, I bet I, you I can guess. I kind of was like thinking this was gonna be boring. These three, looking at them overall, you know what? I like them a lot. A lot of people say that when they see a thumbnail with our faces in it. Like but then they watch it and they're like, it's not as boring as I expected. Yeah, the new time viewers are sometimes like, these are like shockingly kind of entertaining. Shockingly. I did not have much hope. Mm -hmm. All right, anyways, before we go ahead and pick our favorite sauce here today, don't forget to like this video. We have new episodes in the morning time every weekday. So come on back, watch the show, like the video, subscribe to the channel, new episodes, like I said, five days a week. And then also, uh, let's interact with you guys in the comments here today. This is almost like a, a video version of, of Reddit here today. So let's all chat in the comments and get weird. Uh, what are we thinking? What do we want to talk to the folks about today? What about, have we done this before, what their favorite pepper is to have in a hot sauce? We haven't done that, that's a great one. You What's guys yours? want to do that? Do you um, you know, they don't, they can't respond. So we are doing that. You're doing that. What's your favorite, favorite pepper? pepper? Mm -hmm. I know what it is to cook with. I don't know if I know what it is for this. I haven't paid attention enough to hot sauces. I mean, to cook with, I love habaneros, or serranos. Love a serrano, that's my number two. What's your number one? Scotch bonnet. Oh, that's mine, can I change mine? Sure. I Scotch mean, bonnet. I don't write the rules. Mine's Scotch bonnet. <laughs> I have no stake in this claim. <laughs> yeah, Scotch bonnet number one, serrano number two. Uh huh. And ghost pepper's my third. Oh, that's too much for me. No, you like ghost peppers. It's in six or so. Nah. Dunce. Nah. Uh, we hate scorpion peppers. Yeah, I don't like that either. <laughs> Let's do a shout out. Merch shout out, merch shout out, merch shout out. That's right, guys. We've got a merch channel and we just launched our brand new shirt today. Go check it out. It's a six year style shirt based off of a certain logo, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Do we need to get lawyers involved? What's going on? Just don't keep talking about anyway, that. Anyway, there's two Move different, on. three different versions, four different versions of it. Yeah. Two of those categories you can get now, men's and women's cuts. We got women's cuts for you guys, and then you can get the logo either as the full torso or the little breastplate. I think they're both awesome. I kind of prefer the little breastplate, but I do think that they're both super sick. Um, check it out, see which one you want, snag it up, and we'll give you a shout out. We give shout out to anybody who buys stuff off of our website. So here's a couple of shout outs right here right now. Merch shout out number one goes to Team Welby. <laughs> Laura, Jim, Patrick, Allie, Alex, Margo, the whole crew. Uh, in this specific order, a black hamburger shirt, another black hamburger shirt, a third black ha hamburger shirt, a trucker hat, and a bottle opener. For a whopping total of $112.49 from Team Welby. Thank you so much, that is insane. Minnesota was even nicer with that merchandise inside of it, and thank you. And merch item number two goes to Mr. Emmanuel Colbert. <laughs> My buddy from the military, uh, he bought two bottles of Sixer sauce. We sent those out to Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Ooh. So I uh, hope, hope you're liking that. All right, it's time to pick our favorite here today. All right, uh, Eric McCluskey, drum roll please. Thank you, sir. All right, pick your favorite sauce here today. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Wow. Yeah, that one's the best. <laughs> These are not bad though. These aren't really my style. Like if I wouldn't buy these from the store myself, this style of hot sauce, that's just so good. And that so small good. batch, like Lucky Dog's amazing. But dude, that Hank sauce and Humboldt were both very good. 
Excellent, excellent items. Mm -hmm. Guys, if you want to send us hot sauces and anything you want us to review, uh, the address is always below the video. Feel free to do that. Uh, go snag that new Sixer style shirt uh, on sale to everybody here today for $25. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode of the show. Sure. I'll have a drink. I'm already out of here. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to punch out. Thank you.